we must not therefore go back to our old ways. We must continue the new path. The views of Mr. Dedipe brings back an issue which has been in discourse in the agricultural sector for a while, preservation and storage of food crops. As of 2016, according to the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, Nigeria ranked 16th on the global tomato production scale, accounting for 10.79% of Africa's and 1.2% of total world production of tomatoes. However, an alarming 45% of tomatoes harvested in the country is lost because of poor food chain and management. Not just merely say go back to the farms to cultivate, but let's look at the entire value chain of different agri produce. Take, for example, tomato. All right, it is one thing to cultivate and bring out the tomatoes, it's another to process and now possibly can them into purees. And of course, once you can and they are in that form, they can be preserved over time on the shelf. So, in which case, you prevent the huge waste that we used to experience traditionally. Same thing can happen with the cassava value chain. Okay, produce so much cassava during the season, but instead of having a lot of it rot away that had happened traditionally and historically, you now have the cassava processed into different, you know, byproducts of it. Even on to the cassava peelings, which are also useful for some purposes. So in which case, it is the entire value chain we are now looking at, instead of merely producing so much like we used to do historically. So different investors go into different parts of the value chains. And so storage comes in the picture, processing comes in there. And so ultimately, we create a lot more value. And that also plays out in many different ways. Take, for example, if you pick cocoa, just to illustrate, it's a cash crop, OK? Nigeria still remains one of the top six producers in the world, just like in the case of palm oil, all right? But we are no longer in the position we used to occupy in the 60s, in the early 70s, before crude oil came on the scene and made us forget agriculture. So the question then is, how do we extract more value from this agricultural produce? It must go beyond just producing them. We must also bring in processing. But processing requires storage also along the value chain. You need to store to preserve and then before you process and bring it to the market. That will of course will increase the value added. And that equally has employment implications. Because the more activities along the value chains, the more opportunities you have to create jobs. Obviously, this issue of processing has to do more with the private sector. But when you talk, talk to a lot of Nigerians about it, they, they, they talk about investments, especially initial capital um, into the area of processing now. Is the government doing enough to encourage the private sector to go into these areas, the areas of processing? As of today, and that's the interesting thing about our economy. Right from the time we were in recession in 2016, Many foreign investors have not only been eyeing Nigeria, but they have been taking positions. Why we Nigerians ourselves keep complaining about the system, foreigners are taking positions and bringing money here. All right? So what you then see is that they recognize the reality of economies, that a recession doesn't mean you remain there forever. They, of course, recognize that recession is a phase, and after recession, they will follow recovery. So the wise investors always take position during recession for the impending recovery, because they know it will come eventually. So by the time recovery comes, they're already in place, and they can take full advantage of the recovery. So that is the kind of thing you do as an investor, private investor. You look at the environment. Take, for example, look at the Nigerian GDP. That tells you the kind of economic activities happening in Nigeria. Then you then ask yourself, which are the major sectors that contribute most to the GDP? And that tells you areas where there are investment opportunities for the private investor. Then you can also look at another set of sectors, what you call growth sectors, which sectors are growing strongly. Now, between those two, as a private investor, you'll be able to identify where the opportunities are. So your job then is to go do a proper business plan on how to invest in that sector 
and how to make money from it. Remember, I mentioned agribusiness. Now, if you do that, you not only have access to funds here in Nigeria, you can also access funds offshore. And I say this also from experience. And there are many foreign investors looking to bring money to Nigeria into those sectors. So if you're a private person, all you need to do is do a proper business plan and you access those funds. So the other side is the market. And of course, Nigeria presents a market of an estimated population of about 198,000 human beings. And that was as of July 1st, 2017. Estimated population, 190,886,000. That's a huge market.